Yo squad, what is up? It's your boy Pino E here and for today we got some trash to talk about but there's also some dope things we need to cover. So smash that like button, subscribe if you're new and let's go. Let's kick today off with Puma and a look at the A-Life Puma Clyde Argyle. A-Life covered the Walt Fraser signature shoe in a printed black argyle pattern on a premium white suede with black suede detailing on the heel and the toe of the shoe. The side of the shoe features the iconic white Puma form strip logo with A-Life branding on the heel. Look for the A-Life Puma Clyde Argyle to release exclusively Thursday, April 5th in store at 158 Rivington Street, New York at noon and online at 10 a.m. on A-Life New york.com with the retail price tag set at $100. Over to Nike and let's start with LeBron, LeBron spelt with a capital L watch. While most of you struck out on the pairs through the sneakers draw, Foot Locker is giving some of us a shot at a second chance. On Saturday, April 7th, Foot Locker will be releasing the Nike LeBron 15 Diamond Turf, Air Max 95, Moab, Orange Box, and Griffey colorways at House of Hoops locations in Chicago, LA, New York, and Ohio. Good luck. Up next, we got the Nike Air Force 270 dressed up and ready for spring in this all new Sherbert colorway. The pair features an atmosphere gray upper paired up with total orange, hot punch, and volt accenting, sitting on the gigantic 270 airbag in a matching volt color. If you like this pair, head on over to Nike.com now because they're available for $160. Fuck it, why not? Let's talk about the dad shoe of dad shoes. It's a grandfather shoe. This is a staple in Pete Carroll's wardrobe, the Boca Classic, the Nike Monarch, this pair officially known as the M2K Techno. You might remember seeing this shoe as part of John Elliott's fall winter fashion show in New York, but Nike has plans for this model, including four new colorways all expected to drop sometime this fall winter 2018. They're taking this dad shit serious, but don't expect to pick these up for $65 because this model will release with a $100 price tag. There's been some people asking for the return of the Nike Air Swoops 2 and they don't gotta wait much longer because in October and November, Nike's bringing the silhouette back in two new colorways. If you're wondering what makes this shoe special, it's that Cheryl Swoops was the first female athlete to receive her own signature line. That's kinda cool. Both these pairs are dropping later this year in women's sizing for $140. Next up, we get a first look at two new pairs of the Nike Just Do It collection dropping later this summer. And this time up, we have a look at two pairs of the Nike Air Max 1 Just Do It dropping in men's sizing. Just like I leaked a while back, the pairs come in your choice of orange or black with both pairs flooded in the Nike Just Do It tagline. Unfortunately, we still don't have an exact date, but they are expected soon. But in my opinion, the ladies pairs are much doper than these. But anyway, stay tuned because there's still like 20 or more pairs from this collection to leak. Okay squad, what I'm going to show you is top secret, so let's just keep it between us. But what you're about to see is a leaked image inside of Beaverton at a Nike meeting on upcoming sneakers. The pic was taken a few months back and here it is. What we have here is a Nike employee in his natural element beating the fuck out of an already dead horse because why not? That shit's just fun. But here's why I bring this up. The off-white Nike collection, the 10, has changed to the 57, and we're now up to like 72 with this new piece of information that the Nike Zoom Fly in black will be releasing as part of the collaboration this coming October. But that's not all. Because today we get word that there will be another pair of the Zoom Fly releasing as part of a pink collection. I'm not sure how many pairs will be included or what silhouettes aside from this one here. I mean, hell, I'm down for this pair in any of these potential colorways. I think they all look dope, but how many pairs are they going to release? I call this the Adidas Syndrome. When the Ultra Boost first came out, I think that we saw around 723,000 colorways drop with all of them being limited. And Nike's pulling that same shit with this off-white. I like them, but I'm annoyed. The pair drops sometime this holiday season for $170. Over to Jordan Brand, and let's start with a quick update regarding the Yellow Ochre Air Jordan 1s, which are dropping on May 1st for $160. Up on screen, we have the image that you are used to seeing, but it's not the right one. Rather, this is. I'm here to let you all know that the pair will drop as part of the Six Rings collection, which means a yellow suede heel with matching yellow suede swoosh to go along with a white and black leather paneling on the front half of the shoe. I prefer the first Photoshop we saw, but I don't work at JB, so I don't get any say. Let me know your comments below and let's move on. 
You may have seen this image floating around Instagram last night, and if you didn't figure out what it meant, then take note that Sneaker Politics will be releasing the Air Jordan 3 Katrina on April 28th. There's more to go along with this release than just the threes, but I haven't figured it all out just yet, so stay tuned for more. For those of us not living near sneaker politics, we'll get our shot at the pair on May 12th with retail set at $190. And last but not least for today, let's talk about the Champion Think 16 collection. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw me post this image last night. And for those of you not following me on Instagram, what the fuck are you waiting for? You can find me at PinoE77. But back to the picture. Everything you see here is going to drop. Everything as part of what Nike is calling the Champion Think 16 collection. Unfortunately, the image with the dates is all kinds of fucked up and blurry that we can't really make out the details of each pair, but a couple dates we can make out are as follows. We got the Nike Kobe 1 Pro Tro Closeout dropping April 14th, the Nike Air Force 1 High Rude Awakening on April 26th, Air Jordan 1 High OG Pass the Torch April 28th, the Nike Air Maestro 2 Trifecta drops on May 10th, the Nike LeBron Soldier 1 25 straight May 31st, we got a Nike KD4 Thunderstruck dropping and that releases on June 7th and on June 14th we got the last shot Air Jordan 14. So aside from those you can also expect a Julius Irving Converse All-Star, a Bill Russell Converse Chuck Taylor Ox, a Ray Allen Air Jordan 28 locked and loaded, Kevin McHale Converse Fast Break, the Wes Unseld Converse Star Player Ox nicknamed Intangibles, Moses Malone Nike Air Force One Low, Amaya Moore Air Jordan 11, low and a Golden State Warriors Nike Air Force 270 gold standard. So with that being said, I think this collection is dope. I'm in for a few of these pairs, but let me know in the comments below what you all think. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.